We know that sauna use, again, is an exercise mimetic, so meaning that it copies the benefits of exercise without the cardiovascular activation on your, on your physical body. People, I think, have heard of saunas for a very long time. I've written about it a lot in my books. But uh, what distinguishes an infrared sauna from a traditional sauna? And how does the heat differ between the two? So infrared heats the body directly and traditional heats the air around you. You get hot as a result of the air in a traditional sauna, you get hot as a result of the air being hot. With infrared, it increases your core temperature because of the way that the infrared is absorbed and penetrated into the body. It works with the cells in a completely different way. So you don't have to uh, go to uh, Norway or Finland um, to experience the, I mean, recognized benefits of sauna with this technology. Correct. I want to talk about sauna in general, but I, I've been fascinated with infrared uh, sauna technology for a very long time. Why would you prefer one or the other, or they're both great in their own right? And uh, talk us through all that. Yeah, that's a great question. So for me, I um, I like infrared, the feeling of the experience when you get inside. So um, when you get in, it definitely is warm for sure, but it's not the feeling of excessive heat in your face. Uh, and so you, our kind of motto here at Sunlighten, you know, is life is meant to be enjoyed, not endured. And so part of a sunlight and experience is it is enjoyable. You shouldn't have, for me, it shouldn't be the experience of like, oh my gosh, I, you know, how many minutes do I have left? You know, you should really enjoy your experience. Because if you really, really enjoy your experience, then you're going to become a habit. And, and that's, that's the goal is that everybody should, you know, use their, their, their infrared sauna, their sunlight and sauna as much as possible. And when they enjoy it and they get great results, then they'll use it more. So that's, I mean, there's lots of different reasons, but the experience in itself, because a lot of people can relate to that feeling of heat, you know, um, in the face. And then also, uh, I'll speak to, because the, the difference with the heat experience, you know, similar to like going to the day at the beach, you know, usually at the end of the day, you're wiped, you're exhausted, similar to a traditional sauna. A lot of times it just it zaps you, right? Yeah. And with the sunlight and sauna, it actually restores energy and there's, you know, the way that the wavelength works with your body, it increases your ATP level. It, it really causes an increase in energy. So when you're done, you feel, I always say, I always feel like I'm going to go out and conquer the world and solve the world's problems. So it's great. That's a very interesting point. You really better enjoy the experience. Uh, otherwise, you're probably not going to do it very often. And I know a lot of people... Uh, understand the potential and real benefits of ice therapy, ice cold plunges, uh, cold showers, yet for the vast majority of people that is not exactly a pleasant experience. And so as much as we know the science is pretty doggone good, you're probably not going to do that very often, most people. Most people. And on the other hand, uh, I think what you're saying is, hey, if, if this is actually a good experience for you and you are not suffering to get a benefit, then you're probably, you're right, you're probably going to do it more often. Yes. And, and there's a lot of things which we can talk about. I mean, there's a lot of things that you can do. I call it habit stacking or sweat stacking, two different things. But, you know, you're, you can stack different things that you like to do um, while you're inside your sunlight. And it's, it's, I find it a challenge. Like if I go um, every year annual, I go to Mexico on a business woman's business trip and they don't have, you know, an infrared sauna there. So I will, you know, stop into the, the regular sauna, the um, traditional sauna. 
um, for like five or 10 minutes. And it, it, it's, I find it difficult to have it stack in. It's hard to do other things. I have tried in a traditional sauna to do some yoga, but I just get really hot and, um, it's just a different experience where in sunlight and you can, you can meditate, you can do yoga, you can do, I love a huge fan of deep breathing, huge. Um, and you can stretch, you know, um, you can have great conversations, you know, but you can be social and, um, catch up with your kids or catch up with your spouse or, you know, so that's another example too. And you can even do light therapy in a sunlight and sauna. Yeah, now you can. Yeah. <laughs> now you can do red light therapy, which we can talk about as well, which is super exciting. You've always been able to do invisible light therapy with the near infrared, not always, but for the past 15 years. Um, but we just recently introduced a new product on the market. So it's super exciting. Many people, when they hear, oh, near infrared or uh, near infrared technology there and you said well it's going to heat you up that has nothing to do with sitting in a microwave right correct correct the infrared spectrum itself is a small spectrum it's a natural spectrum that comes from the sun without any of the harmful rays there is no uv we get that question a lot there's no micro there's not there's no rays that are in there that are that are harmful to you. In fact, I call it out of the entire light spectrum from the sun, it is the healing spectrum. Now give us a little history of all this. How was this discovered? Um, how did fi people figure out? I know there's a lot of information about the depth of penetration of near infrared and you know, what are the benefits of each depth? Walk us through that. Yeah. So well, first, maybe like before I walk you through, let me give a, just a quick um, backstory to why I'm even interested <laughs> because um, I get that question a lot. So my brother was really sick, uh, chronically sick when he was young for many, many years, tried everything, nothing worked until his dentist noticed that he had mercury fillings and said, you know what, Jason, maybe the mercury is leaking into your body and um, you need to, you know, find a way to get it out. He had tried all sorts of invasive ways, nothing worked. And his dentist said, I have read uh, some articles, some science regarding infrared and that it can detoxify the body. And so that was kind of the start of everything. It changed his life. Uh, and a couple years later, you know, I got involved and um, decided to leave my job at uh, Procter & Gamble in the pharmaceutical division because when all the research I had done in the medical libraries, there's great science. There was great science back then. This is 25 years ago. Oh my goodness. Um, and all the science, most of the science was was really robust in the cardiovascular world, which is actually what I was studying, what I was doing on the sales and marketing side at PMG in the pharmaceutical. So I was very familiar with that. And I know how hard it is on the pharmaceutical side to develop products that help your heart without adversely affecting other parts of your body. And it's just really hard to make a change in you know your body with medication. Uh, so when I saw all the data that was already out there that was in Asia at the time, I really wanted to bring all that data and the science to the United, United States and then put some more meat you know, on the bones as far as more science, more studies, you know, find a product that um, was aesthetically pleasing that, again, people would enjoy being in. It wasn't because back then there was just these little boxes that, you know, you just, you did, but you didn't really enjoy it, you know. Uh, um, and so that's what I left my corporate world to, to, to do 25, oh my gosh, years ago. So that's the backstory. As far as the spectrum itself, there are three different parts. There's far infrared, mid infrared, and near infrared. And far infrared is the coolest of the three. Um, and that is really responsible for being absorbed into your body and vibrating your water molecules, making a 
big, big, huge difference with increasing your core temperature. And ultimately, there's your detoxification element. Mid infrared is hotter, and it's really good for decreasing inflammation. We you talked about the introduction, talking about pain free life. Um, the far infrared helps with pain too at the deeper level, mid infrared helps it at the tissues. And um, inflammation is great for muscle recovery. And then near is the short, it's a super short wavelength, and it's so hot because it's the hottest you have to in order to get a, an effective amount of near infrared you have to convert it to leds uh, which is what we um what we did and we when we launched this product we launched it with the invisible part of the spectrum and then just recently we've introduced now the visible part which is the red light Part of the spectrum so we essentially now have a product that has four different parts of the infrared spectrum all with different healing mechanisms different mechanisms of actions and ultimately different results and different impact on the body dumb question but i'm sure my listeners want to know do you choose those spectrums or you know oh man i want a, a short spectrum uh today or i want a deep spectrum uh or do you just blend them all together that is a great question it's not dumb at all it's really really great so we when we were designing this product we wanted essentially a way to have an easy button um so that people didn't have to think about it so we developed scientifically we we access a lot of studies that were already out there because there's a lot of um, already data on all three wavelengths and how it can help with the body. It's just nobody had brought it to the forefront. Uh, so we did all, we worked with a lot of um, physicians and scientists on how do we take the science that's already out there with far infrared, mid infrared and near infrared, replicate the delivery and then put it together into a program um, that's based on science. So we have six different programs that are available, you know, heart health, anti-aging, um, relaxation, detoxification, um, pain relief. And then you just press the one that you want. Uh, and it is all all the hard work has all been done behind the scenes. It's in the brain of the sauna. And so when you press cardio, for example, for heart health, then the different wavelengths will fire up and start to activate. And the, what makes Sunlight and Sauna, one of the things that makes this really unique is while we're offering all these different wavelengths, we're offering all of them independently. So you're, you're getting, and we do have a product that has a blend of, of as well, Amplify, but the impulse of one that we're talking about, which is our Smart Sauna, that has far infrared separately, mid infrared separately, near infrared separately, and then now introducing the, the red light therapy. So we're able to behind the scenes, to, you know, turn those on and off, turn up the power on each of them, max them, you know, max them out depending on the science that says, you know, like for example, anti-aging, we'll use that for an example. So when it comes to the skin, the skin, it's really best for the skin not to have a high amount of, of heat for 40 minutes. Like that's just not what's really what's best. So for, for anti-aging, we only use a little bit of red near and far, and there's no mid because mid gets really hot. So that's just one example. So we've done all the recipes for you. You don't have to think about it. And, and if you want, you can press custom and you can do your own if you're you know so inclined. You can absolutely do that. Or you could just turn it on preset and like not press any programs. I mean, there's different, lots of different options to choose from, but the programs are fantastic. I mean, I highly, highly recommend them. And then there's also the duration is preset as well. So you know, you'll tell you how much how many minutes are left in your program, et cetera. Well, do I have to, you know, get my sauna up and running for, get the temperature up for three hours before I can even use it? And that's a pain in the neck because how do I know, you know, when I'm going to use it? And maybe I just want to hop in. Yeah. What do you do? That's a great question. And Dr. Hamblin, who is a recent medical director of Sunlight and Wimps, we're so honored and 
I mean, I just am so humbled by the fact that, you know, he works with us. He has really educated us on, he, I mean, he is the, the expert, the world expert on infrared. And he strongly says, turn the sauna on and get in. So a lot of people don't, they, they don't want to do that. They want it to be really, you know, warm when they, um, when they get in. And so that's a personal preference. But scientifically, when the sauna is at the lowest temperature, because if you think about infrared, you think about how it's working with the body. Remember at the beginning, I said that infrared is absorbed into the body, you know, um, versus being and in not the, air. the air. Yeah. Right. So the absorption comes from the longer wavelengths and the cooler wavelengths because it's easier to get into the body. As when the when the sauna gets really really hot for really really long, like those, then the wavelength shortens. It gets choppier, and it's really difficult to get as much as possible. So you're going to get the maximum amount right when you get in. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah, because again, you want people to use something, and if you you know, if you have to preheat the oven for an right. hour, before, that that's uh, kind of a dumb idea. Yeah, yeah and exactly. I, and I think that's really important for people to understand. You're not using this to heat the air. Uh, you're using this to heat you. And Correct. there's a big, big difference. Now, you, men you mentioned the cardiovascular program. And since I'm, you know, kind of interested in the cardiovascular system. Can you say that, let's suppose I want to get the benefits of, of running a 10K. Can I hop into your sauna and get the benefits of, well, say running a 10K? Just sitting there, come on, help me out, come on. <laughs> Absolutely, and what is wonderful about you know, sunlight into infrared is, it is a exercise mimetic. So it really copies what exercise does for you because it provides passive cardiovascular benefits. So we know that it's going to increase your core temperature. You're gonna feel, I mean, there's many times when I'm in there where, you know, my heart rate goes up. I mean, I feel, I can tell that my system is being activated. I'm not just, while I really work on you know, deep breathing and, you know, um, a lot of just really, really intense relaxation. Like that's kind of my reset time. Uh, however, if if I'm in, in there and I'm do, I also do brainstorming and uh, it's just really great for getting the brain to um, just be more, to get rid of the, the mind fog and just really be have the brain more sharp. So I'll do that as well. Um, and when I do that, it's a better example. That's when I really, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like a workout. And it's really great on that same 10K note. So it's also really great to to do, like if I, I, I'm a runner, and so if I go for a run, then I will always come back and I would sit, you know, inside my sunlight and for however long amount of time I have, um, just to keep my heart rate up, to keep it going, because there's definitely a benefit of stacking the two together. You know, we had uh, head of the DNA company on a few months ago, and we did my DNA. Oh, and, cool! And uh, he said, "Oh man, you know, you're you're screwed. You do not detox well, and running was probably the stupidest thing you could possibly do." Uh, and I was a runner, and he says, "You know, what a dumb thing because you <laughs> you can't detox all those damage that you do while running." And what you just said, I think, is a very important point. Uh, in a lot of ways, running is not good for you. And don't, don't get me started. My wife was a marathon runner, and uh, we made her stop. Uh, anyhow, but I think your point is well taken. You can get maybe the psychological benefit of running and then hop in the sauna and actually get the repair work uh, done that you might have caused damage from the running. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, exactly. And you can the other benefit that I've noticed because um, I've actually scaled back the um, the miles, you know that that I go. Uh, and so now, because because I will add on the sauna, so it's so it kind of lengthens my active without harming you know my my muscles and joints and. Um, so I'll, what I'll do is if I want that 
runners ex like kind of just the release that one of the reasons I do it, then I will go a shorter amount of time and I'll just increase my pace. And then I cut my run short and then I come back and I use my sunlight and sauna. And that's been, it's been a fantastic, I love that. Um, I love when I, I do that because it's, it's like, I, it's, you know, it's intense. Then I come back and then depending on whether I'm going to work in the sauna or I'm going to meditate and relax, then I'll you know, go through that. It's, it's, and I feel like a million bucks when I'm done. As opposed to being drained. Correct. Yeah, no, I always have. So my head um, is always so much clearer. You know, in fact, I've started, uh, I've given a lot of the people in my network some, some tips because they're like, what, what are you doing? You're in there. Like, one of the things that I've started doing is I keep a pad of paper in there um, because I've noticed that when I go in, in, unless I'm focusing on, you know, meditation, because that's not good. Um, but if I'm not, my head just gets really clear. And I start to think of all these wonderful ideas and these great, like my creativity just is fantastic um, when I'm in the sauna. So then I, you know, I jot down everything while I'm in there. Cause I don't, you know, I don't want to get out and forget it. So <laughs> yeah, I feel, I, I really enjoy that. Um, the mental clarity aspect as well. Talk us through the science of how all this helps fatigue, helps um, stress. Uh, I mean, clearly we can say, oh, you know, it helps, but the, you're right, there's 20 odd years of science behind this. What's, what's, what are one or more of the underlying mechanisms that have been found that this works on? Yeah, so one, just we'll just talk to touch on hormesis, for example, and for people who don't know what hormesis is, is um, you know, it changes, it puts stress on the body in a, in a good way, uh, meaning that it's changing. It's like, okay, so there's an example everybody can understand. It's like when you lift weights, or, you know, and um, or you do something athletic and you're sore afterwards, right? And you're like, oh, but what that's good. <laughs> Like I always say that to my kids, like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, that's great. Um, because you're, you're, you're changing the body and making it stronger and healthier. And that's what hormesis does to the body. And that's what the uh, infrared will do for the body is the science that's showing like we will increase your body's core temperature. Increasing your body's core temperature by up to three degrees is extremely powerful on the body extremely and it is the pathway for so many other benefits for for making your heart healthy for you know increasing the the blood flow for increasing circulation um it's also helpful for removing toxic elements I and mean, we could talk forever about all of that but that's just to answer your direct question that's one of probably my favorite pathways my favorite thing that the sauna does yeah, I, I write in the books uh, the famous Nietzsche quote, that which doesn't kill me makes me stronger. And I, I got very interested in what's called heat shock proteins uh, mm -hmm. in heart surgery. And we found that if we basically cut off the flow of blood to a region of the heart for a minute uh, and then let the blood flow back in, we would actually release what, were, what are called heat shock proteins. And it, it, basically a, a sauna is, it activates heat shock proteins. And we then found that we could cut off the flow of blood to the heart for an hour and it would act as if nothing happened to it. Uh, oh, wow. It, it, yeah, it was that powerful. So that's how I got into, a long time ago, heat shock proteins and the benefits of, of sauna. And so just like we know that cold therapy um, yes. activates actually heat shock proteins in the exact opposite way. Heat shock proteins, as I've learned through the years, uncouple mitochondria, but we don't have to talk about that today. Uncoupling mitochondria is really good for you. And that it's actually what this does, so. Right, yeah, it makes you, st I mean, it makes your cells essentially, makes your cells stronger and healthier and so, um, that's ultimately, you know, it was, we talk about 
living a higher quality of life, you know, um, as you increase the quantity of life. Nobody wants to live, you know, to be really old with and feel horrible, right? Like you want to, you know, you want to have that vitality and that energy. And so you need to take care of your body. And one of the greatest ways to take care of your body is take care of your cells. And one of the greatest ways to take care of your cells is, you know, expose it to um, infrared. And the more wavelengths of infrared, the better it will be. Another benefit of saunas that maybe you can put some science behind is stress reduction. Are there studies showing that it actually does help, you know, mitigate stress or change stress levels or perception of stress? So stress um, is a lot of time, well, there's studies on exercise, right? And so we did, we talked about exercise and how exercise, you know, can help with stress levels and, you know, and change your cortisol. And it's, um, and we know that sauna use it again is an exercise mimetic so meaning that it copies the benefits of exercise without the cardiovascular activation on your on your physical body so you're not you know running and, and putting the pound in your body so you there definitely is a similarity on stress between exercise and sauna and you I mean, for sure, you know, when you're done, I mean, I just think about like my session, you, when you're done, you just, you know, you're so much more relaxed and, you know, your actual physical body, you know, you've increased your circulation and you've increased your oxygenation. Um, and so that just that whole flow, I mean, you can talk great about like probably blood flow, like, you know, how it impacts blood flow and why blood flow, um, healthy blood flow matters you know, and then how that helps with stress. And that's one of the benefits of uh, using your sauna for sure. Is there any time of day that's better to use a sauna or not so good to use a sauna? That's a wonderful question. I get that all the time. And the answer is really personal preference. It's I, how I always answer that question is it depends on what is your do you, do you have like a goal for the, for using, you know, your, your sauna? Like is, is it, like I personally, I use myself as an example. I like to use mine in the morning. I like to do all of my exercise and act, activations, all of that in the morning because I want to jump start my day. So I want to go through my intentions. I want to go through my goal. I want to go through all of that. And um, using my sauna is one of the tools to, to do that, you know, and it gets, it gets everything going. It's just a circadian ry rhythm going. Um, some people like to do it at night um, because that's part of their routine, you know, and your body is very, you know, responds to routine for sure. And so if that's part of it, you know, then the body starts to, to understand, oh, okay, starting to wind down. I get it. Like this is kind of wind down time. So it really just depends. Or, you know, I mean, my ultimate tip to people who are trying to, you know, figure out when, you know, I would just, I would say, when is it where you can make it a habit? Number one. And second is don't like, it's better to do a little bit than not at all. So if, you don't have, you know, you have a crazy morning or whatever, and you, you know, um, then that's okay. Like you do it, do it when you can, as much as you can. Don't stress. Like this just should not be a stressful thing. Of oh my gosh, when do I schedule it in? It's really whenever you can for as long as you can. Are there studies showing, you know, how okay, how long do you have to do it? I mean, can I can I jump in and get a five minute treatment? Probably not. Uh, should, you know, do I need a half hour? Do I need an hour? Should I lock myself in there for half a day? Uh, where great, where do these, yeah. where do we get the benefit? Yeah, the benefits, they usually fall between 30 and like 40, call it five to round up minutes. Like our programs in the Impulse Smart Sauna all range between the, those exact time frames for that exact reason. Um, so I think the sweet spot in general, if you're not doing a program or if you're using one of our other, you know, infrared saunas that doesn't have all the wavelengths, the sweet spot is 40 minutes. That's like if there's a perfect time, that to me is a perfect time. It should, the, 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 the 
zone between 30 and 40, that 10 minute interval, I have found over the many, many years that that's kind of your zone. Like if you, to use like runner's language, if, you know, hey, I'm all of a sudden you like at the first mile, whatever, first 10 minutes or first five minute, whatever run is like really diff difficult. Yep. And then you get into a zone and it starts to feel comfortable. Um, that's that between minute 30 and minute 40 for the majority of people. So um, the great thing is you don't have to think about it. Like I just go in, I put, you know, I start the program and then when the program is done, um, I'm done. Or if I have to cut the program short, I, you know, I get out. And I, again, I think it's, it's not, I think, I know it's better to at least start and get as much in there as you can than to say, oh, I don't have enough time to do the whole thing. So I'm not going to do it. That's, that's not, that's not smart. Follow up question is, okay, can you use this? Too much when it is just enough. Uh, do I need to do it once a week, twice a day? Uh, help us out on the spectrum. Yeah, so you, you need to hydrate. So that's the number one thing. Like when you say too much, my caution because you're going to be sweating, right? And um, depending on what's going on in your life, you know, you could be sweating out mercury. You could be, I mean, you could be having a very efficient, you know, detoxification session. And so you need to make sure you replenish the body, you know, hydration and potentially some, you know, electrolytes, whatever, you know, that you're, you're releasing from your body. Uh, so that, as long as you hydrate and listen to your body, I mean, if you go in five consecutive days and, you know, you feel lightheaded, for example, you know, um, then, then scale it back, you know, um, but there's no, there's really no evidence of doing too much as long as you hydrate. Um, we have the programs for a guide so that that way people know, okay, 30 to 45 minutes is a really good range. I can do a little bit less if I have, or I can do a little bit more. Um, and as far as too little, again, I liken, I, I use the analogy of exercise. Can you exercise too little? You know, um, more ex like more walking is better than little walking, moving the body. It's the same thing. It's exactly the same way to think about it. All right, you mentioned another point. Uh, so who who shouldn't use the sauna? And the follow up to that is: Are there things that we should look out for? Uh, trigger, you know, are there things we ought to be worried about? So number one, hydration is what you should look out for. You should hydrate before uh, you go in, for sure. You should hydrate. I always hydrate when I'm in there, and then definitely after. If you don't want to do it while you're in there, because some people don't want to do that, then fine. Then just do it after. So that's number one. As far as people that shouldn't sauna, if you're pregnant, not a good idea because it increases your core temperature. And so any, if, if anybody has a known sensitivity to increasing your core, you know, if something happens, you know, negatively to your body when your core temperature is increased, when you have uh, a better way of saying that for people who listen, probably is like when you've experienced a fever, does something bad happen to you? You know, um, if that happens, then, you know, you probably want to, you know, either use it, you know, shorter periods of time so that you're not, you know, in there, because we know we've increased the body's core temperature in, th in um, 30 minutes. And then also, I, I always caution people, not caution is not the right word, educate people on children, because children's metabolism and their whole, their whole body is so much healthier, I should say healthier, but it just, like, everything is faster, you know, their metabolism, everything. So they don't need to be in there as long. And here is what I have learned. I have two boys and I've, I we used to do a lot of work with Dr. Rachel West and autism. I have learned that kids know their bodies really, really well. And they have this natural intuition. They know when to get out. They know when enough is enough. And that's that's my biggest advice to parents is, listen to your kids, they'll tell you. So it's. It's okay. I mean, there's not a warning. No one under two, three years old should ever go in a sauna. No one over 80 should ever go in a sauna. No, there's no warnings on age. 
What if you're not into sweating? Is there a way to use this experience or is the purpose to just get soaking wet? If you're not into sweat, then I would 100% recommend getting in right when you turn it on. Um, because it takes a while for your body, you know, to you know, increase your core temperature to make a change. Beca um, so if, if you don't want that glisten and glow look, and you just don't want to, you know, have that experience, which, you know, that's everybody's personal preference, then you will still get the benefit of the infrared when you turn it on. And then st stay in there as long as you can until you start to notice of, oh, okay, you know, um, like I remember, what year was it, 2009? Yes, 2009, we were on the Oprah Winfrey show and and um, the sauna, when Oprah went into the cabin where she went in there, our sauna with Dr. Oz and um, it was on, they wanted, the, the producers wanted it to be on, like it wanted to be, be like a legit live, you know, experience. And so they go in and, you know, Dr. Oz starts talking about the benefits and then um, <laughs> she starts, right, <laughs> she starts to have that experience. She's like, oh, okay, I'm starting to feel, you know, I'm starting to feel sweaty. Um, so, which was awesome. I mean, it was, a, you know, it was, it was great. But yeah, when, when that has, starts to happen, if you want, I and mean, then she got out, you know, if you don't want that, those beads of sweat and you don't want to deal with whatever, then, then just get out. But you, it's still good to get in there even if you don't sweat. Yeah, things will be happening before you actually raise your core temperature. Exactly, exactly. You're going to start that whole biochemical cascade of benefits into your body, and that's what you ultimately want. So it is 100% fine if you don't. I mean, there's times where I go in and I actually don't, I don't sweat a lot you know, um, for all, like a lot of different reasons. And that's okay. Don't, don't, I mean, I always just say, don't stress, like don't overthink this. We've worked really hard to like press the easy button on the programs and develop it. So it's all done for you. Just need, you just need, we just need you <laughs> to get in. That's it. You know, the rest is take, should take care of itself. So, you know, it's obvious that you guys have been working at this at Sunlight and Sauna for a very long time. Long time. Oh, come on. The sauna is the sauna is the sauna. What, what differentiates Sunlight and Sauna? Oh, yeah. We haven't talked about that. So, oh, lots of different things. I will make this as succinct as possible because there's many different things. Um, so, number one, you know, it's all about the science. Like, that's... That's, you know, we, we may want to make sure that anything that we do, it's we have researched the scientific evidence, you know, to support it. You know, we will also obviously incorporate anecdotal evidence and, you know, testimonies, et cetera. But we really want it because it's, it's a very difficult wavelength to 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 master i mean it's really hard there's specific frequencies there's specific quantity i mean it won't go into all of that um stuff but and the materials that change the frequency it's 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 a lot of excuse me it's a lot of hard work behind the scenes um so we have we have mastered the science and we brought brought it to the marketplace for our customers so number one it would be that the second is we have patented all of our unique um, products and the, the why that matters for people is that the peace of mind factors so they don't have to wonder am I, it, could I get something better for less money someplace else you know it's no the answer no you know we, we've done all the the you know hard work and you're guaranteed you're getting the most amount of infrared you're now getting you know, four in the Impulse Smart Center, you're getting four separate wavelengths of this magical healing, you know, spectrum into your body at different levels, at different frequencies. It's fantastic. Um, then that you talk about the quality of materials and the safety of the materials. Uh, that's something that makes us really unique. Um, we also, our purpose as a company is to bring light hope and happiness to people everywhere so they can do more of what they love with the people they love to do it with so 
like our purpose behind what we do is to really help people live their you know most full um life and, and be as healthy as possible ultimately you know leave the world a healthier place as a result of what we do so how long i mean how long have you guys been around for 20 next year will be our 25th year uh, in business so it's been so you didn't you know, decide to do this yesterday to hop on a craze. <laughs> no there was no craze dr gundry there was no craze there people didn't even know what infrared was when we started and really a lot of people this was before i mean they have, there's a sauna tradition of course in finland and you know but there are still a lot of people that really weren't sauna fans in general because that just because not a lot of people have a finished sauna in their home right like it's just not you know so it's it's completely different world today and different market and different conversations than it was 20 years ago for sure joseph mercola years ago used to say look get yourself a, a big cardboard box from a refrigerator um, and buy yourself four infrared light bulbs at the hardware store that you and, and put them up in the corner and presto, chain Joe, you now have an infrared sauna. Uh, be careful because it might burn down. And number two, don't get too close to the bulbs because you'll burn your, you know, Jesus out of you. Um, and he used to say, hey, folks, you know, it'll work just fine. What say you? <laughs> well, <laughs> so any, I, I actually, I love that question because I always say any sauna, any, any form of, heat any form of light any form can be an infrared sauna if you want to go there because it's infrared is all around us so i mean you could like literally like you know i could put a, you know like a little thing around me here without my you know sunlight and then back and be like oh okay i'm taking an infrared sauna so um is that going to start the biochemical cascade of benefits? Is that going to increase your core temperature? Is that going to change, you know, your oxygen, your blood flow, you know, um, the, all the different things that we talked about, your energy levels? No, probably not. So the difference between a generic infrared experience, you know, generic infrared sauna versus a, you know, sunlight and infrared sauna is we... Uh, maximize the amount, the quantity, and the quality. So we are delivering the highest amount of infrared into the body at, at the highest quality, the right frequency, the right tipping point. So if you think about uh, listening to Spotify, or it's not Spotify, but if you're listening to, you know, in the old days, people listen to the radio. <laughs> a lot of people don't listen to the radio anymore. Um, but there's, you know, say a station was 98.1, you know, right, right. So if you chime, if you turn it to 98.5, you're not going to receive, you know, the same sound and the, you know, music that you are at 98.1. So any, with any, with water, with any in, um, type of, um, element, there is a frequency, there is an amount, there's a tipping point that, where it becomes most effective right we know that for sure and that's what we have done is the highest quality which is the tipping point you know um, with the highest quantity and that's where we have a patent so you can't get more for less anywhere else at a lower price um and that's really what makes you know sunlight and you know difference is just the most effective highest quality product with the peace of mind that it really is <laughs> Because it's not just don't don't just don't take my word for it. Like I, you know, I I'm a, I always say that because I'm like the biggest skeptic. And I remember when my brother was really sick, and I remember it so well. And he was like, "Oh my God, this is like changing my life." I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, whatever." Yeah. <laughs> like to me, like nothing, you know, you know, nothing. It's a placebo is, effect, and you know, I'm, I'm glad it's working for you. But right, right, exactly. But no, you're right. There's there's absolutely really good science on this, and it gets even more detailed with every passing year and that's you know why i wanted to have you on the program you know saunas uh, are not inexpensive um are there 
Are there ways around this? Are there spawn of gyms, for example? I mean, are your products in gyms? You know, I was just listening to a podcast the other day um, that she, it was, um, who was it? it was listening to it. Anyway, she said, um, I don't know if it's Dr. Leaf or, anyway, they, um, she said, you know, I would challenge anyone if they really want to find an infrared sauna and they say there's nothing available. She's like, I would make a challenge to that because she's like, if you really want to go somewhere, you could, you could, you know, Google and find a place where you could use an infrared sauna. Now, with that said, we have worked really hard over the years. One of our biggest um, intentions at Sunlighten is access, right? Um, to making sure that we provide as much access as possible. Part of access is cost. And so we do have a, um, a model, it's called, it's probably one of my favorites, it's called the Sunlight and Solo, that is a one person, you know, lie down model. And um, that is extremely effective. Actually, that's the, the product where the initial core temperature study was done. There was a clinical trial with the University of Missouri, Kansas City on lowering blood pressure was done with that particular product. So it's, it's you, you're not it sacrificing works. Right, you're not sacrificing anything to get a, um, a smaller model that's lower cost. You know, as long as you get from Sunlighten, there's we have what four? We have four different series of products that have you know different different wavelengths for different reasons, um, and there's a cost associated, of course, with all of that. You know, we also have a wand that's a um, handheld near infrared wand that has invisible light as well, some of the colored lights. If you just really want to get started, you know, you can do that. That is, you know, it's less than $500, you know, um, I mean, it'll take you a while to, you know, um, to get all over the body and to do, but we're all about however we can get you started. But the solo is a great option for people that don't have the space, that don't want to spend a lot, you know, um, and it's it you literally it can put it in a corner. You, it's um, telescopic, so it doesn't fold, but it the lower dome melds are like oh, crashes wow. into collapses into the upper dome, and so it you know you can push it in a corner. It's like two feet by three feet. Uh -huh. You know, okay. yeah, it's really easy. It's a great solution. Probably one of our listeners says, every day I am inundated with a sauna blanket offer. Help us out. Uh, should we should we click and grab one of those sauna blankets and wrap ourselves up in it? Or what do you think? I would recommend using the Sunlight and Solo first for lots of different reasons. One of them is just the materials that the blankets are made with. They're, you know, of a like plastic nature, you know, that you can see them when you see, you know. Um, and so, you know, and then you, you combine that plastics with heat and, and then you're getting it into the skin. I, I just don't really feel like that's a really great idea to make your body healthier. Does it feel good? You know, maybe um, if you really, you know, we also have a solo pad which is heated, you know, if you really want to go that route. And that right. pad contains our patented heaters that give you the highest quality of, you know, far infrared heat. So, you know, there that's you that's go. an option as well. Yeah. All right. All right. I, I still recommend the solo, but because you know you're going to increase your core temperature. For me, it's, again, it goes back to the natural skeptic. It goes back to the piece of mind is I don't want to be like, in there thinking, is this really helping me or am I doing more harm than good? I don't want to have all that mind chatter, right? The whole goal is to like right. get your mind free and clear and have more energy. And the great news is you guys have done the research on this. Yes. And, and you, 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 you publish studies um, yeah. about how this works. More amazing episodes just like this one. Watch now. If you got up and moved for five minutes, Every two hours while you're at work, you will break the deadly effect of sitting.